Okay, and may, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I could ask the second sure, question. Go ahead. Back to the selection of the processors and the growers. Um, you said that's still a work in progress. Could mm -hmm. you explain some of the safeguards you're putting into place in that selection process sure. so that the people think it's an open and honest selection process? So I, I'm going to turn it over to John, but I, I want to share with you that we take that that um, our responsibility there very seriously. So our department, um, anyone in our department has not entertained um, to speak with any of the growers and processors that will be applying so that we maintain the integrity of the process. We certainly have others uh, in the governor's office and other representatives uh, across the uh, across state government that have um, uh, we've that have <coughs> con uh, been in contact with the growers and processors to understand what their needs are. We gave them the opportunity to comment. Um, as I said, we've received over a thousand comments. Um, we did give them the opportunity to comment on our temporary regulations. Um, we think that um, this process, we've talked to many other states and it is a difficult and complex process to select, um, the, to select the, the right vendors. So we're going to be putting a lot of time into that process to ensure that we have a successful outcome. And I'll ask if Jen wants to comment any further. Thank you, Secretary. Mm -hmm. it, it's open and competitive um, and fair. Uh, what's important here um, is that we need to focus on the patient, um, the product, and the public. But I do need a viable commercial market to be able to sustain that. Um, full compliance with the law, of course, is what we're doing. So it needs, to, it needs to be open and competitive so those applications and submittals can be reviewed so we can accomplish um, a sustainable market that services the patient. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.